since I don't have a whole lot of time to film this intro because I have an appointment in 15 minutes. Um, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Basically, I have a couple of things to do in the morning, so I thought I would bring you guys with me because they're just things that I don't normally do every morning. So I would think that that makes for a good vlog. I'm hopefully not sounding too sick. My seasonal allergies are finally slowly going away. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't sound like I'm too sick or like congested. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to chill a little bit in my car before going in. And then we're gonna go get our nails done because these need to go. They're very outgrown. And then, I'm not gonna tell you. But you know by the title where I'm going, yeah. Most likely, we'll be going to chapters. If that's not what's in the title, then that's not what I end up doing. But most likely, going to chapters. And yeah, I'll see you at some point. Don't know how much I can film in there. Might just like, you know, get some little snippets of the salon. But like, I don't know. It could be very awkward. But for sure, I'll show you the, the result at the end. The amount of books I'm getting at chapters will depend completely on how expensive my nails are going to be. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Are you guys ready to see the nails? I am in love with them, so I'll show you. Here they are. I love this shade so much. Oh. Initially I wanted to do like a pastel rainbow, but I started looking at like lilac designs and I found this one and the guy just really really nailed it so yay I made it to chapters uh let's go in I don't know what I'm gonna get we'll see at some point in this video I'm gonna do a haul by the way if I do get anything There's so many like cute YA books that I want to get, but I don't really know if I would like them for real. Oh, this looks good. I've heard a lot of things about this one. So maybe I might get it today. Honestly, I kind of want to watch the movie first because I don't know if I'm gonna like this book. Have you guys seen the new Percy Jackson covers? Honestly, I love them. You can actually like dif differentiate each one of them. <laughs> Try not to buy them though. I kind of want them. How much is it? It's not bad. I'm gonna go to the romance section because, of course, obviously. Made it. I'm so intrigued by this book. Like, this cover is adorable. Should I get this one? I read this one a while ago, but I never picked up this one. This book looks so good. And the cover is adorable. That book just fell on its own. Um, this chapter is haunted. We're back in this section. I'm definitely getting this book if I can. She's giving Wanda Scarlet Witch flowers. Gosh darn, they don't have the first volume. I want it the first. This apparently is amazing and it's been on my radar forever. I almost forgot about the one book I was here for. I think I'm done. I've got four books. I think it's not. Oh, I do really want that one though. I did a bit of damage, so I'm going to go put some gas in my car. Uh, wish luck to my wallet because gas is so expensive right now. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to get home and I'm probably going to do the haul. The haul is going to be in the next shot for you guys. But me, I don't know when I'm going to film it. Okay, it's a few days later. I got lazy and I didn't film the haul. I'm going to show you guys the books I got. Uh, during the shopping vlog and I'm also going to show you guys a couple of books that I've gotten in the mail uh, the past few days just so this haul is a little bit bigger and I also have just a couple of bookish things that I can include so I'll just show you guys that as well. Alright so starting with the books I got at the bookstore 
I got four books. I almost got more, um, but I ended up choosing four of them. Uh, the first one is Never Been Kissed by Timothy Janowski. This is a queer uh, new adult romance book that I believe takes place like at a drive-in, which is so cool because I love drive-ins. We have one in my hometown and it's so fun to go at. This came out really recently and I've been hearing some really, really good things about it. And I'm always up for a new uh, queer romance. So when I saw it, it was definitely on my radar and I just grabbed it and I got it. Um, I'm really excited to read this. It's a pretty short book. It's not even 300 pages. And there seems to be like little drawings in there. For example, like the first page, we've got like a Polaroid picture. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this, hopefully soon. I always say that, that I wanna read it soon, but I've got so many books to read that I don't know, but I'm very excited to read it. Next, I grab Set On You by Amy Leah, which I think she's a Canadian author. So very, which is super cool. Um, to read from authors from your own country. Um, this is a cartoon cover <laughs> romance, which is my first, um, which is the first thing that I made me want to buy the book. <laughs> but then I read the synopsis really quickly. And basically this is about a curvy fitness influencer um, and a firefighter. <laughs> so, and then something about like um, internet photo going viral with them in it. So kind of giving me like the Danny Brown beginning plot. Um, where there's like a photo of Danny and the guy, I can't remember his name. People are like, oh my god, they're so cute. And then they start fake dating for the public. Um, kind of giving me that vibe. Um, but I guess I, I won't know what this book is really about until I read it. So I'm really, really excited. This was one of the main books I was hoping to pick up on my trip to the bookstore and I almost forgot it like you saw in the vlog but I'm really excited to read it uh hopefully soon again we'll see next I have The Stand-In by Lily Shu. this book first of all the cover is adorable I love the pink and the blue colors like the two girls on the cover one's super glammed and the other one's really casual which makes me think that they're going to switch for some reason or like the casual one is going to take the glam one maybe for like maybe she has to like go somewhere so she can't attend a certain place so like she she goes in place for her which is why like it's to stand in um but i really don't know so let me just look at the back of the book yeah so basically like the celebrity so the more glammed up one wants this one to stand in in for her because they look a lot alike and then like she moves in into the house and she's being escorted by a sam guy and i believe there's gonna be a romance between the two this seems really really fun i'm gonna be repeating myself a lot in this video but i'm hoping to read this one very soon it seems just like a very fun cozy read that i'm definitely going to enjoy i've been hearing a lot of good reviews for this one so i'm really happy that i picked it up and then the last book i got at the store um during this vlog is see you yesterday by rachel lynn solomon look at this book it is so cute i have yet to read a rachel solomon book uh in the ya section i've read both of her adult novels they're so good you guys go read them there's Weather Girl and The X Talk. I think Weather Girl is my favorite between the two, but I have yet to read one of her YA novels, so I got this one. I thought this was the sequel of Today, Tonight, Tomorrow, but turns out it's not. The covers are just really similar. But yeah, this book is so cute. I'm so happy I got it. Under of the dust jacket is white with a little, I believe it's like a, an elevator door. And I think this is like a um, time loop kind of book and takes place in college so it's like it's a YA going on like new adult kind of thing so yeah uh the first day of college keeps going over and over and over again which I don't think I've ever no that's not true I was about to say that I didn't think I ever read a book with like a time loop like that but I did read The Holidays by Christina Lauren and it was really good so I'm excited to jump into this one and that came out actually on the day that I went to the bookstore which I love doing, just going there and grabbing the book that's just like freshly on the shelves. So yeah, now I'm going to show you guys the two books that I got on the at the bookstore, like not the bookstore trip that I went to for this video, but I went to the bookstore like two days before that. 
So I'm going to show you the two books I got at that bookstore trip. I got the two first volumes in the Bridgerton series uh, solely because I've seen some of my favorite creators reading them recently so I wanted to have my own copies and these were only $12.99. So they are in the mass paperback, which I don't really enjoy usually, but they're very floppy. So I, I told myself it was okay. I've watched the first season. I haven't watched the second season yet. I want to, I just never think of putting it on. Um, yeah, I'm happy to have these books in hand. Next up, I have Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. This is like a cozy fantasy book and I've been wanting to read more fantasy lately because I've been just reading romance. I've seen this book just a couple times on TikTok, but it really just grabbed my attention. Uh, it's really short. I think it's a standalone and apparently it's amazing. Uh, Goodreads reviews are like 4.5 out of 5 stars, which doesn't happen a lot. Like only really, 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 really good books get that type of rating. I have high expectations for this and I, I think they're going to live up to it because I haven't seen a bad review for this one yet. It says, High fantasy with a double shot of self reinvention. So we're talking about it. There's on the cover we've got two characters, and then we have croissants and pastries and coffee, which looks so cozy. And I'm really excited to read it. A hot cup of fantasy slice of life with a dollop of romantic froth. I don't know what it is about this book. I only it came out this year. I only saw it a couple times on TikTok, and now I'm just really, really looking forward to reading it. I don't think I've read a fantasy yet this month. This might be the one I read. So it's about like a forgotten legend, which I mean legends and lattes. They open up the first coffee shop of the city, but there's like something that like for like stops her from really succeeding at this coffee shop that she's that she's trying to open. Which, like, it sounds really cozy. Like, it sounds like a non-fantasy book with just really cozy feelings. And then you add, like, those high fantasy elements. And I, I don't know. It makes... The cover just makes me want to read it so bad. And it's really short. So it's just over 300 pages. I'm excited for this. The last book I have is a book that came out this year and I wanted to get it at the store because I just love getting the books at the store instead of ordering them online. Like it's fun to unbox stuff and everything, but when it's a book that I really want, I love to go at the store, grab it and like choose between all of them they have. Like there's something about it that I love a lot more than just ordering it online. But my store never ordered copies for the store. Um, so it came out in February, I think, and now we're in May and they never had copies. I checked regularly and they never did. So I just caved and I ordered it online. And I've heard some pretty amazing things about this book. It's featured in a lot of YA queer stories that people have to read. Um, and that book is Ophelia After All by Raquel Mary. The cover is what I fell in love with first. It's so pretty. So this is a cute and coming of age story about Ophelia in high school. And that's pretty much like all I know about it. And that's pretty much also all they give you in the synopsis. But honestly, that's enough to make me buy it. I'm definitely happy to have this one now on my shelves and it's so pretty. I've heard a lot, a lot, a lot of good reviews for this one so definitely hoping to read it soon very very soon maybe for queer month actually which is in a couple of weeks and now before i go i just want to show some annotating accessories that i've got recently and by accessories i mean only tabs so i have my tab bag and i'm just gonna go through it really quickly and show you some tabs that i got so first I got these like darker tabs and all my tabs are really, really colorful. And I feel like when I want to color code my annotating with the book I'm reading, um, if the book is dark, I need like darker colors <laughs> and I don't have those. So I found these and they're really perfect. They have just five colors. They go all well together. And I'm thinking of annotating Legends and Latte with these tabs because I feel like they would be really well fitting. Next, I got a bunch of those like color coded tabs. <laughs> I got so much. Um, basically, I was reading uh, Things When They Were Got Over 
and that is a really long book and I was editing a lot and I was like running out of like blue tabs of like I was running out of these ones so I thought I'm gonna order some right now and I ordered two packs of four instead of just one pack of four just because why not and yeah I'm now I have a bunch of these and these are not the only ones like I have a lot more in, in 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 my bag i also found like these more like pastel rainbow tabs which i have like the same kinds of the ones i just showed like the color coded ones um but these are just pastel and they don't come with the four pack one so i don't know i just really like that rainbow pastel vibe thing so i got those now i have another blue one and the rest is all like those standard colored ones this one, which I don't know what I'm ever going to do with, but it came with the pack. Um, I have a bunch of those like standard uh, seven color rainbow thing. I've got these tabs with the white, which I don't usually use, but I kind of like those. Got smaller ones. I got some with arrows, which also I don't usually use, but I mean... I'll use them now because I have a bunch um, more standard ones. And then I think these are my favorites. Uh, these really thin tabs uh, like this. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these, but I love them. They're so fun to use. Um, but yeah, all the ones I just showed, like this, the standard colored ones, they're all from the same pack. And it's like you get a bunch of them for like, $15 I think so yeah I got those for no good reasons other than I simply wanted to alrighty guys those are all the books I got and the tabs I got in the past few days I hope you enjoyed this video I and I also hope you liked the vlog part I feel like now that I'm filming this a couple days later this more this feels more like a haul video than a vlog video but once I put all this together, it's gonna make more sense. But yeah, if you've read any of these books, please let me know, we can talk about it in the comments. If you want to follow me around uh, during the week when I'm not posting on YouTube, feel free to follow my TikTok and my Instagram. I post kind of daily on there, um, especially in my Instagram stories where I post just like random stuff. So feel free to follow me over there. And on that note, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it. I'm still really in love with my nails. This is marker. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And make sure you subscribe if you like this video because we are almost at 300 followers, which is insane.